Hey everybody, this is Ron Moore, and it's time to check out A Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. Okay, what happened to Freddy's glove? Anyway, um, little people know this. L little people. Few people know this. Yeah, the midgets know this. Um, I have did a review of this game before on my channel. Now you're thinking, I don't remember that. Well, that's because I took it down back when I had like five subscribers in October of 2007. The review was terrible, I didn't really know much about the game to review it anyway, and the phone was ringing during the commentary of the review, and I didn't even edit it out. I was had the, had the attitude of, we'll do it live, and the review was just, eh, terrible. Um, so it's one of the videos I took down when I first started. It should it would have been retrograde if it was still uploaded. Dang, I should have left it uploaded. Um, okay, and so, yeah, four-player game, you gotta have like a certain... NES accessory to do that, but we're not going to do that here. Um, Alright, so here we go. We start out on uh, the Elm Street. Uh, duh. And, uh, yeah, here you go. You punch snakes and spiders right in the face. I don't know who this guy is, but he's freaking brave. And, uh, I love this game. Uh, uh, this game. Well, I don't know about that yet. I love the, this music right here. The music right here is not that bad. Now, LJN made this game, as we know, and, uh, yeah, they're notorious for making bad games. But I want to give this a chance. Um, you know, but the music right here is not that bad. Okay, now you got bats dropping rocks at you, and you got these mice, giant mice coming after you. We're not in the, night in the nightmare world yet, so where's all this stuff coming from? I thought Freddy could only... I don't know. You know, I haven't really watched many Nightmare on Elm Street movies ever. I mean, the only closest thing I'm familiar to um, when it comes to Freddy Krueger movies is Freddy vs. Jason. I love that freaking movie. And now, okay, you get Frankensteins on the street. And uh, you gotta watch out for the spikes. And freaking Frankensteins, they look, they look like... Uh, Dirty Harry for the NES. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It looked like Clint Eastwood right there for the NES. Dirty Harry. Um, yeah, so again, um, uh, this is a let's check out because I've played this game before, but not really. I mean, two, two three years ago after ABG, I, after I seen ABGN's review, I said, I'm going to check it out. And I thought I thought it was okay. It don't seem that bad. Um, and yeah, the junkyard, I think that's where you fight Freddy in the end. Actually, you fight different incarnations of Freddy. Um, I mean, we'll get to that later. Let's see here, and th this is the best offense right here. Don't, not, don't punch like I did. Just hop around like a jackass, just like Sickle Fan did in his uh, Survival Arts review. And I know J-Man's laughing right now. It's like, oh, here we go again with the Survival Arts uh, review thing. <laughs> uh, but, um, oh yeah, but, by the way, speaking of J-Man, this Let's Check Out was requested by the J-Man, J-Man 4641.1. And now I gotta figure out which house to go into. I think the first house you actually go into is the one with the doors closed. Well, wow, you know, I should have guessed that. Okay, we don't go into high school yet. Ow, watch it. Okay, now I'm about to fall asleep here. If you see on the sleep meter, and I'm about to enter the dream world. Ah, uh, watch it. Okay, well, I'm dead already. Um. Uh, there we go, I'm falling asleep. Now we're in the nightmare not then then the nightmare world. How fun is this? Now I don't know how you can throw javelins, spears, and do flips. I can't figure that out. Even back then when I tried to review this game, see that's why I didn't <laughs> I saw I shouldn't have reviewed the game yet, because I didn't know what I was doing. It should be more of a let's check out video. Oh, okay, well there you go. That's the first house you go into. My mistake. Okay, now you're in one of the uh, one of these houses here where you're fighting the the little ghosts from the Count Chocolate cereal, and then you collect Freddy's bones before you fight an incarnation of Freddy in these houses. And what are these things like spiders with Freddy's face on them? I guess. Ow, come on, man, watch it. What's my energy bar? Let's have a sleep bar, and that's it. Okay, anyway. Yeah, th this song is cool, too. I don't care. This game has some cool music. I don't care what anybody says. Grr. 
Oh, I got four more bones left. So you see the bone meter up there. Digging up bones. Okay, after you hear that weird fart noise, that means you can go down the basin right here. And get ready to fight. An incarnation of Freddy. What the heck is that? Who's that? Who's that? Satan? Ah, dang it. Right, well, I got okay, six more bones to collect in here. Uh-oh. Well, you heard Freddy's theme song playing, but I hit the radio to wake myself up, so I don't have to fight him. That, that's another... You fight the real Freddy right there, but it's like a sorry battle with Freddy. And, um, I forgot what the final battle was like. I saw the final battle on YouTube somewhere. Um, but it, it, uh, Eddie... Freddy just swipes at you or whatever, like he's blind, just like ABGN mentioned in his review. Um, but here, right here, here, right here. Man, my commentary is bad in this game. That's why I didn't, that's why I took down the review a long time ago. Um, I still can't get it right this time. And here's the first incarnation of Freddy. His hand is, um, yeah, connected to a bunch of balls for some reason. I don't know why, but, oh, well, I guess LJM was like, let's make Freddy as weird and random as possible, you know, and, because in people's nightmares, yeah, he's in different forms and stuff. He can do anything he wants in people's nightmares, but I'm not in the dream world. I'm in the daytime world here. But oh, well, it's just a game. I mean, don't want to be picky, like Jason Relaxation. Um, and, alright, so yeah, this is my only defense that I know, offense that I know, is punching. Luckily, he don't have a, look, look yeah, he has like a, energy meter, but only three of them are filled up, and there's no, like, difficulty setting in this game, so, I mean, it's not like, uh, I'm playing on easy right here, so, I don't know what's up with that, I guess, I think other incarnations are afraid to get harder, I don't know, but anyway, ah, uh, what's that noise, that, supposed to be scary sound effects? That's supposed to scare me? Oh, come on, man! Hit him! Oh, man. Arr. Should've used ECW mode. Um, yeah, punch the hand. Punch the fist. Oh, man. Okay, well, there's one. I don't know how many continues I have. But, uh, alright, finally! There, I get the key. I don't know what to, but... Okay, uh... Back on Elm Street now, which house do I go to and next? More rocks and stuff falling on me here. I haven't read the storyline to this game, but I mean, yes. It's Nightmare on Elm Street, it's a pretty famous movie, well... I thought this is the next house you go into, but I guess not. Anyway, um, so I don't know who this kid is. He probably has no name. I mean, yeah, he probably has no kid. No kid. Well, no name. And so I don't, uh, know his name. <laughs> and let's check out videos anyway. It's just me playing the game for the first time, not even knowing what the heck is the game's about, really. But it's not me on Amherst Street. It's about Freddy Krueger. If you never heard of Freddy Krueger, please get out of the house. No, um. Seriously, I mean, it's not me on Elm Street. Very famous movie, famous story. Um, punch the Dirty Harry again. Let me see if I can... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's... Ah, watch it! I'm pretty sure it's this house you go into. Uh, well, dang, yeah, I had, after you hit the up button like 20 times! Man! Alright, so anyway, I'm in another house now where I'm collecting bones. I don't know what the heck that is, but I'll get it. Okay. Seven more bones now. And, okay, this music is weird. I don't like the music in, in this house, but, uh... Ah, uh, keep getting pwned! Ah, uh, come on! Where's the spikes coming from? They're coming out of nowhere, from the pillar. Where's the hole at? Well, I'm running out of time here, guys, as I fall asleep. Um, I will see you guys in part two. God bless. Take care. Sweet dreams. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that was terrible.
And welcome back to part two of A Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. This is Ron Moore, and I am back in the nightmare world again, or the dream world, or whatever you want to call it. And this is weird. Um, I guess in the, in, the, in the dream world, it takes more hits to destroy the enemies. But it's weird just to... <laughs> that's your offense, just punch them. This is weird. I mean, come on. In real life, it's like giant spiders, ghosts. I mean, you're going to stand there just punch them. They're going to die like that? Come on. I know in this game, again, I mentioned this in part one, you can use javelins and stuff, but I haven't figured that out yet. But punching them? I mean, come on. And you can do, you can do the same thing with Freddy. It's so stupid. And no, I'm not going to hit that radio and wake up because I want to stay in the dream world here because I want to show you guys what the real Freddy, uh, what the battle with the real Freddy, Freddy's true form looks like. I mean, it's nothing much, but I want to show you guys for those of you who haven't seen that yet. I guess I'll kill Tom here and wait for Freddy to show up. Alright, and that's where you fight an incarnation of Freddy, but we're not going to do that yet. Alright, here we go. Freddy's wrestling entrance music is playing now, so it's about to show up. That's pretty cool though right here, how they, you know, Freddy's entrance song right there. Or entrance song, theme song. You know, you play that and you're like, uh oh, and then, you know, Freddy's coming to get you. So, that that's pretty cool right there that they did this in this game. Ah, there he is. And, yep. Right there, that's it. That's all he does. It's his only offense. And, of course, you got to dodge the hands coming out of the ground right there. But that, that's weird. I mean, he's swatting, you know. And he, he, he's just swatting like he's blonde in predictable pattern here. It's ridiculous. I mean, come on, this ain't the real, this how, this, this ain't how Freddy Krueger fights, I mean, come on. If you've seen Freddy vs. Jason, I know this game came out way before then, but, you know, if you've seen Freddy vs. Jason, his battle in the end with Jason, who's doing all these karate moves or whatever the heck he was doing, uh, man, fighting Jason toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I mean, he could do more than this, come on. And this is, you know, you're in this kid's nightmare right here, this guy or kid or whatever he is. I mean, you, Freddy's in his nightmare, you can... Um, Freddy can do more than that in someone's nightmare. I mean, come on. This is weird. Okay, then, yeah, he just runs away. Oh, come on, and then the game pushed me right where I, where I left off at when I fought Freddy, and then, and then that devil person just knocks me off. How cheap is that? Alright, well, anyway... Let's fight the incarnation of Freddy here. We're gonna fight Freddy again like 10 seconds later. Except this is another incarnation of him. Uh, I don't know what that is. Dow seems head on a bunch of balls. And tongues coming after you. And that's my only offense I can think of. I still can't figure out how to throw javelins and stuff yet. I thought collecting those little items that I got earlier was gonna do it, but nope. So uh, this is my only offense right here. Just punch. Close my eyes and punch. I mean, it's pathetic, but oh well. And listen to this uninspiring freaking boss battle music. I mean, I know this game has some cool music, but this is not one of them. Over and over and over, looping again, and then that. It sounds like someone's hawking a loogie in the background or something. I don't know what that sound effect's supposed to be. Get over here so I can punch in the face. Alright, you got one notch of energy left. These freaking tongues come after me. Ugh. Man, I want to curse right now, but I better hold my tongue. Ah! Oh, man, that's, yeah, that's officially the worst pun I've ever did. Alright, um... Come on, oh, come on. Pwned! 3D! Alright, finally out of there. 
All right, back on our streets of Elms, streets of rage, <laughs> streets of Elm Street, <laughs> streets of Elm Street. Okay, um, what house to go to next? I think it's the one with the closed doors. Let's find out. Now, finally, some good music again. All right. All right. Um. Come on. Okay, I guess the trick is to hold up for like ten freaking seconds. Now the first half of this song right here is pretty cool, but then it gets kind of dumb in a minute. But anyway, oh my! Oh, how many times have I died? How many continues do I got? I don't remember. You if you get unlimited, unlimited continues or what? These freaking fruit flies over here, bees, whatever they are. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna push start right here. The music sounds different when you do that. It's just like it, it reminds me of Mario 2 when you push start and the music sounds a little bit different. I thought I'd show that real quick. That was a waste of time, but so we'll move on. Um, and here, here's now this is the song now. It's like, oh wait a minute. All right, cool. You know, forget the music. Now I'm falling asleep. Yeah. I love the nightmare world better. Let's see if I can somehow figure out how to throw javelins and stuff. Oh, oh yeah, cool. Turn this turns to blood. Whoa, whoa, wait. Oh yeah. Okay, that's how you do it. I just push select just for the heck of it, just to see what it would do. And there you go, select button the whole time. Oh, All right, cool. Now there we go. Yes. And that was the blood dripping. That was the water dripping. Now it's just blood. In the nightmare world. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, come on now. You're supposed to be awesome. You can do flips and throw javelins now and spears. Come on. Now it's, now this game feels like go ghosts and goblins. <laughs> Except that game is much harder, I'm sure. What? Ah, oh, I, th I thought that was a ledge right there. It's a freaking bookcase in the background. How stupid am I? Well, javelins don't go all the way across the screen. That's kind of lame. Oh well, still better than your fist. What? What was that? I I can't get the bone. Um. What the heck? I can't get the bone. What? The, what's the deal? <sighs> okay, that's freaking lame. Another continue. Oh man. I don't know why I can't get the bone. That's a weird glitch. Alright. Here comes Frank. No! Oh! I was trying to land on the freaking ledge and I hit the radio. I didn't even see that there. Dang, I wanted to fight Freddy with a javelin and see how awesome he is then. Well, that's ruined now. Let's move on. Uh, now I'm awake. Oh man, come on. Oh! oh! Man. Someone, whoever's watching, might want to keep a counter to see how many times I freaking died, including from part one <laughs> of, of this, uh, let's check out. Oh, man. Oh. Plat platform controls get to my nerves. And I'm yawning right here. I think if I fall asleep right here, I really will have a nightmare of me trying to of these platform controls and Freddy laughing at me. What's the matter, Ronnie? Can't land on the platforms. <laughs> All right, get the Mortal Kombat symbol here. Maybe I'm about to fight Shao Kahn next or something. Or maybe I can throw a Scorpion Spear instead and say, "Get over her." All right. Yes. Back to the cool music again. We're gonna get ready to fight another incarnation of Freddy. What the heck, giant mouse. Mice, giant mouse, giant mouses, Mises, mice. Reminds me of a book called A Mouse. You have a mouse a cookie. It's a kid's book when I was a kid. Wow, that's way off topic. Anyway, um, again, I died. What a surprise. More like a let's check out Ronnie. Uh, let's check out Ronnie failing at. I'm not on Elm Street. Freaking fruit flies again.
Well, it looks, like, it looks like the enemies are coming from somewhere, you know, instead of just spawning out of nowhere. I mean, it looks like they come from the ceiling or whatever, you know. I can't stand it. These old NES games, I mean, they're awesome, but even Metroid, a great game like that, the enemies just reform out of nowhere, especially freaking Ninja Gaiden. Oh, they got my nerves. The, those eagles and Ninja Gaiden. Uh, but anyway, back to this game. What are these items right here? Oh, Spike's coming out of nowhere now. Oh, yes, I'm falling asleep again, but I am running out of time. I will see you guys in part three. God bless and take care. All right. Oh, man, before I can even make my introduction, I get killed. Welcome back to part three of Nightmare on Elm Street. And, wow, look what I just discovered. I got a new item in the Nightmare world. I'm a ninja now. Oh, cool. To do jump kicks and throw Chinese stars now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember the Mega Nerd posting the comment under part two telling me that you can get more items in the Nightmare World. Alright, so. Yeah. And now what, Freddy? Now what? Alright, watch out for Lassie here. Alright, here we go. About to battle Freddy again. Watch out for the Mega Man 2 lava droppings. What I want to fight this time? A fist, Freddy's glove, or fist, whatever it is. In the title of the video, uh, uh, the title of the, uh, the video game. Ah, uh, oh, damn! Well, I got pwned real, real quick. What? Oh man, game over. Right when the fun was really beginning. Oh well. Anyway, I kind of had fun with this game. This game isn't that bad. Go ahead and check it out. So far, I give it maybe a 6.5 or 7 out of 10. So far. Guys, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.